Hey everyone, I'm Sergio Andujar of Surgeon Destroy. These are my top three tips for being an awesome artist. We're gonna get this going. All right, uh, my tip number one we're gonna go is uh, promote yourself. Uh, I don't stray away from any kind of social media. Uh, I try to have as many as I can so that kind of covered across all different platforms. Um, my main one that I like to use is Instagram uh, as an artist and a graphic designer. I like having just the visual aspect out front right ahead so people can see your design um, and just kind of judge it from there. Um, hopefully they want to go back to your site and check out you know what you have to say more about you. I also uh, like the, the Dribble community, kind of get uh, feedback from different people on that community, which are just designers, uh, people that make icon t uh, icons for like mobile sites. Uh, I like that you can show that you can actually draw and have your process from both hand-drawn to digital out to vector. Um, and uh, let's see, I also do guerrilla tactics like stickers uh, to promote myself. So I kind of go around, pass them out, let people sticker slap them wherever they want. Uh, sometimes I do contests, coloring contests, uh, give out different bundles, um, and I think that way it helps promote myself. Um, and then I kind of put myself out in the community anywhere I can, and uh, hopefully, you know, name gets around. Okay, so we're gonna go to number two. Um, I call it Don't Be Afraid to Juggle. Um, I try to set up as many shows as I can uh, sometimes uh, I try to juggle both local, local shows and something out of state. Since I can't travel all the time out of state, I usually go to a show that is uh, curated by somebody that is accepting other artists. Um, and I try to find something that fits my style. Um, and then, so I'm constantly working. Uh, sometimes I don't have a lot of weekends uh, to myself, but it also helps get my name out there. Um, so yeah, don't be afraid to juggle things. Some things may be bigger projects that you can plan for in advance. Some might just pop up and you may already just have a piece of art that you can just implement and enter uh, into uh, that show. And then you just have your line of events that everyone can see. Um, sometimes, um, you know, you can do festivals, galleries, uh, showings, pop-up shops if you're able to do so. Uh, sometimes uh, just one day cash and carry shows uh, make it for a party atmosphere. Everyone gets their art that day, gets to leave happy, and um, just make it more of an event. All right, so tip number three. It kind of has three steps, but I kind of put it all together. So uh, it falls under create, curate, collaborate. Um, with create, just practice, you know, hone your craft. I put in a lot of hours, um, and if I'm drawing one day, maybe the next day I'm painting. Um, I come from a graffiti background, so try not to do as much outside unless it's uh, offered or uh, something that I'm doing for uh, any nonprofit organization or murals inside of uh, like a company business. Um, I don't limit myself, so don't limit yourself. Uh, try different mediums, platforms. Uh, there's a digital world now, so you know there's different projects that you can do. Um, you can get on on your phone even to just tinker around with your finger and draw. Uh, you can get on the iPad. You can take your own personal drawings and with an iPad or the Procreate app. I like to actually take my hand drawings digital, and then you can out export it as video, so you can see the step process of your drawing. Uh, curate, set up a group show. Sometimes you can't set up your own show uh, at a gallery, but they like the aspect of other artists being there. But if you're able to curate the show, uh, it might open up something for you in the future. Then you can have your own solo show. It might be six months down the road, and you also get to um, network and meet other people that you may not have uh, seen that might be in your town and might open up other projects for you. Um, collaborate kind of goes along the same way. Sometimes it's fun to work with other artists. You can either have clashing styles, which make a really cool uh, outcome, or you can just do a group project with a themed show, you know, movies, you know, it could be really anything local um, that to, to draw people in. Um, 
you know, the different minds that come in to work on those uh, collaborative efforts, you know, sometimes open your own art up. Um, and, you know, it seems like the possibilities are endless from there. Um, I used to just draw and take state of 2D platforms, um, which you can kind of see behind me. Uh, I used to um, just paint. Now I go to digital as options for prints, stickers, um, really anything up to like 2D figures like this. You can get other people's figures, toys. I mean, even old toys that you would think of just throwing away. Just try painting it up, a couple spray cans, and you kind of turn it into its own work of art. So again, never limit yourself and uh, keep on creating. All right, everyone, so those are my top three tips for being an awesome artist. Um, yeah, just go on out. You can find me anywhere. I'm in town, and I'm all around the world, I guess, uh, via social media platforms. Uh, find me on Instagram. You can find me under uh, Surgeon Destroy Official. Uh, SurgeonDestroy.com is my website. Um, yeah, you contact me. I'm up for any kind of collaborative efforts. Really easy to talk to. And, uh, yeah, really easy to give feedback if you have any questions. All right, have a nice day. Cool if we get some ghost footage. Ghost footage? Yeah. There's ghosts everywhere.